In November 2022, Fathom Analytics announced that they'd released their most requested feature. And it turns out this was event filtering. I have to say, I wondered why so many people were requesting event filtering. It seems like a, a small thing. And it looks like a simple change, but it's actually very, very useful. In this video, I want to show you how I use it and how you can use it too to develop strategies for your marketing and for your website to make them more effective. So what's so special about it? Well, in their announcement blog post, they did give a couple of examples of what you could use event filtering for. But for me, its usefulness lies in being able to find out where your most valuable visitors come from. And this then enables you to build strategies, uh, for example, uh, knowing where to focus your marketing efforts so they're more effective, or deciding where to focus development on your website so that you're making better use of your resources. Um, now, when I say most valuable visitors, I don't necessarily mean most profitable. It could be, but it also could be um, that you've decided your most valuable visitors are those that comment the most or those that uh, download PDFs or subscribe to your newsletter. Whatever it is, event filtering enables you to look at that audience segment, that subset of your audience, and know more about them. And for me in particular, where they come from, I think is super helpful. I should just stop for a second and recap what events are in case you're not familiar with them. Um, this is the official documentation here, which goes through what they are and how to set them up. I've also made a separate video um, and there's a link in the description, but essentially they give you much more data to work with than simple page views in your analytics dashboard. You have to add them yourself using JavaScript, but they can count user interactions anonymously, of course, uh, such as link clicks, uh, PDF downloads, form submissions, anything that can be a JavaScript event can be a Fathom Analytics event. And you decide what's going to be useful for you. You set them up and then that data is available for you in the dashboard. So how can we use event filters to help with strategy? I think it's best if I show you a couple of examples of how I use the filters and then that can be inspiration hopefully for you. Now, this is the general um, Fathom Analytics uh, dashboard showing all my traffic for the last 30 days on one of my websites and its visitors, views, nothing unusual there. If we scroll down, then we can see the events section. Again, you need to set up events in advance, otherwise you won't have an event section here and you need to give it time to gather data from your visitors. So I have several events here and you can filter through them in one of two ways. One way is to simply click on each event name and the other way is to search using this little pop-up search box for a string in the event names. Let's stick with the easiest one first, which is simply clicking on an event. And I've clicked on eBay here because um, this event is actually attached to eBay affiliate links on my website. So when people click an eBay affiliate link, then it adds one uh, count to this uh, event. So I filtered by that. And it gives me the same sort of categories as before, but now it's just filtered all that data. So it's only counting people that clicked those eBay affiliate links. You'll also notice that at the top, the dashboard sort of headline statistics have changed. We've now got unique completions, which I think of as effectively, that's people. And then event completions, which is the number of times the event has been done. So for me, the number of times the event has been done is not so important. It's the number of people that have done that event that is important. So I tend to leave that switched off. Now, when it comes to looking for insights, I find it most useful to compare general traffic with filtered traffic and to look for big differences between the two. And the first example is in the referrers section here. So if we scroll down, um, I can see most of my traffic is coming from search engines, but Instagram is one exception. And not only is it an exception, but I'm not actually active on Instagram. So I'm surprised that people are coming from my Instagram account or maybe from other people's Instagram account. Um, admittedly, it's a very small sample size. It's only seven people uh, there out of 480. Okay, but we're going to use it for this example. So you get the idea. Now, seven people out of 480. Um, I think that's about 1.5%. Uh, 
Um, if we look at the general traffic and go to the referrers, we can see that Instagram is down here at 0%. It's actually 21 people out of 15,000 general visits, which is tiny. It's 0.1%, I think. So that means that when we compare general traffic and filtered traffic, general traffic, 0.1% of people are coming from Instagram. But filtered traffic, about 1.5% of people are coming from Instagram, meaning about 1.5% of people are coming from Instagram and clicking on my eBay affiliate links, much, much more than the general traffic. So how does that guide strategy? That tells me that these Instagram visitors are actually pretty valuable, if I think about it just purely from the eBay affiliate link point of view. And so I should put more of my effort into Instagram and maybe other similar social media platforms. That's one example. Another one is uh, focusing on countries. So where my visitors are based. Now, again, this is the general traffic uh, view here. And the top country is United States, about 20% of visitors coming from United States, which is nearly two times as high as the next highest country, Japan. Okay, so remember that statistic. And now let's look at filtered traffic. And I'll go to eBay again. And now when we look at the countries, United States is still at the top, but now it's about four times higher than the next highest country. And put that as a percentage, I think it's nearly 30% of traffic coming from the United States that clicks on an eBay link compared to around 20% of general traffic coming from the United States. So that tells me that traffic from the United States is much more valuable if I'm thinking about the eBay affiliate link clicks. So in terms of strategy, if I was running a paid campaign, for example, I might want to restrict that campaign to just the United States of America, and that's gonna make more effective use of my budget. So hopefully those two examples have shown the value we can get from event filtering. And so what I would suggest in practical terms is you look at general traffic and you compare that with your filtered traffic and you look for places where the numbers are very different uh, either to each other or to what you would expect. And then it helps me to try and put that into words. So instead of saying this is 30%, this is 20%, if I say okay, more people are coming from here and doing this thing than are coming from there and doing the thing. And then that can help me guide uh, my efforts into a particular place and build a strategy around that. And then obviously come back later and check the dashboard and see if it actually worked. So there we go. Event filtering is a simple change to Fathom, but very powerful. And hopefully this video has helped you work out how you can use it to guide your strategy. Thank you for watching.